Right guys, welcome back to the channel and to the first video that I've done in about a month, I think. It's been absolutely crazy. We've moved home uh, and we have a new studio. Uh, if you caught the live stream on the Facebook updates, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it so far. But what I'm going to do now is show you some of the building process that I've actually gone through over the last sort of week to 10 days. Uh, we're not fully unpacked yet, but we are getting there. Uh, make sure that you follow us on Twitch uh, and Instagram to see all the updates. We will be filming again very, very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for plenty of updates and a lot more videos coming very soon. So quick Wait. update video of the new studio. Hi people, I am alive. Yes, um, sale was completed, the purchase, sorry, of our new home. So we spent the weekend and yesterday and today moving in. This is going to be the game room, as you can see. Box, the, central. This isn't even any of the models, this is just terrain. Yeah, terrain and whatnot. But we have so much storage. Yeah, that you can't see there, but that's three full height cupboards. Yeah, and then I said this could be a fourth bedroom. <laughs> So we are not lacking for storage. People who beat me at games have to go and live in there for the week. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good idea. Uh, we've ordered two more shelves from IKEA yeah. uh, on the way next week. And you've been and bought a kitchen worktop. A kitchen worktop for a desk. It's going to span the length of that wall. Yeah, all the way along. And it'll have like, the table, whatever we do on the table. But when you come and play here... That's going to be our nice view. It's also nice and quiet, which means no chaps tearing up and down yeah. on motorbikes and police sirens. We, <laughs> the house is at the very top of the estate. We are the last row where it's a cul-de-sac. So once again, very quiet. And that is the front. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not looking forward to the day I have to go and get all my models from yours, though. I know. <laughs> I mean, this is... This isn't even half of the stuff, is it? There's still stuff in storage I, and I, at mine. I'm, I'm shocked that all of this lived under a 6x4 table. Yeah, this all lived under the table. Which, the table, no, it's not here because... I haven't built it. We, we haven't got the wood yet. We have. We just it's, scrapped the old one. Yeah, we're just getting all new, brand new. It's going to go here. And uh, this is, of course, getting removed. Yeah. Because I've already hit my head on it three times. Exactly, and it's, I mean it's fine for normal height of people or short because you know I'm going under it and I've got quite a few foot of space. But yes, lovely wallpaper which unfortunately will be getting covered with soundproofing. Yeah. So yeah, I will stand back out just to give you... And, and leave me to build a, a kitchen workshop. Yes, so hopefully by next week we'll have a lot of progress done. I will also post some photos of the rest of the house if anyone, want, if anyone wants to be nebby. So until next time, bye bye. Hey guys, update number two and the desk is in. Uh, I accidentally built it a little bit too high. If you know me in person, you know I'm quite tall and I like my desk to be high. So I'm not leaning over it. So I accidentally put it a little bit too high as you can see by the line across there but it's rectified it's sorted and um, we're gonna have the computer of course in this side and because i've now got a window here i may eventually get a spray booth for the airbrush so we'll have to see about that uh, i built it so it's the same height as that shelf got the full length of the uh bookcase uh, i did look in ikea and see about trying to get the extra shelf on top but because of the coven and stuff i won't actually have space for it uh, so I'm going to put some soundproofing along there, uh, along the top, and I can still put models on the top. We've got another two bootcases coming for here, and uh, the armies are going to get stored in there. I won't show you in there, um, all the boxes are kind of stacked up in there, the battle mats, and all of the terrain is actually boxed up in, in there, and it all fits, which is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, this is update number two. Um, it's still going to be quite a squeeze though because the table's going to have to go four foot along there which doesn't leave much space for me chair to the desk but it means that I've got everything literally there so when I'm live streaming the computer is literally next to me uh, which is fine I might extend it a little way past that door but we'll have to see 
But yeah, carpet means it's, you know, extra sound deadening, which is really good over wood flooring. But um, yeah, you can expect to have some sound deadening up on that wall uh, and as well as the back wall there as well. So it, it should hopefully be quite, quite light and airy still, but the sound quality should be pretty good. I've got the light fitting up as well. Uh, I need to tidy that up. I need to put a rosary on there. Um, but yeah, the light fitting is up because the gaming table is going here. Uh, I'm going to have the two uh, photography lights directly above my desk so that they're shining straight down and then I can rotate them slightly to basically shine at the game table and my camera hates me today. So that is the progress so far. Um, yeah, next is to build the gaming table and set the computer up. Here we go then guys, this is update number three. We are getting there. As you can see, the monitors are up and running. I've got no internet. <laughs> so fantastic, great. Uh, that should be happening on Tuesday, but I've wired the computer up, it is up and running. Got the paint racks out ready, and a uh, funny story about this, right? So I got my second monitor out of storage, and the LCD screen had cracked. Fantastic, so, that was a hundred quid down for another monitor. Uh, <laughs> it's bigger than what I wanted. I, yeah, it is bigger than what I wanted, but it is what it is. Uh, it means a lot of the time when me and Lucy sit in hobby, we watch Netflix and stuff like that. And she says these are too small, but it also means that when I do hook up my video games consoles, I'm going to hook them up with this TV, which means I've still got both screens available on my PC. The capture card is under there um, so I'm going to sort all those out. I need a little shelving unit under there for to put the consoles on. Uh, I haven't even been through them drawers but I know all my paints are in them. Uh, we have light fittings up on the roof now so I haven't put the bulbs out and the screens back in but basically the idea is and then I can rotate it like that to shine down at the game table which is I've literally just cut the wood, so that is going to be getting built next, uh, so that will be in the next update, but I love the long free space uh, that we've got. Obviously I need to work out where all my paints and everything are because I genuinely don't know where they are. Um, I'm probably going to have to get another like, like a mini shelf to go on there. Um, just to put more paints and stuff in as well so yeah there we go so hopefully by next week i should be able to game once again get on my warhammer unpacked possibly do some painting like it's been weeks <laughs> and uh whilst i do agree that i kind of needed the break uh i am I'm, I'm i'm hankering for some hobby especially after today's reveals so uh, stay tuned, I'll probably post another update tomorrow because my plan for this afternoon is to build the rest of the gaming table. Right, here we go then folks, this is studio update number four and as you can see, we've advanced a little bit. So got the whole setup there, got the new monitor on. That was a shame, but never mind. Uh, the lights are on the ceiling so we can rotate them to shine on the gaming table. Uh, and of course we've got the big light straight above which I won't point the camera at. Um, we're still waiting for the delivery on Tuesday for the other two of these uh, white shelves. So there'll be three of them entirely filled with models. Uh, the fourth essentially will have codexes and some storage space for stuff that we're currently working on. Uh, so yeah, not too shabby. It is quite tight, obviously you can see I've built the gaming table it's reasonably tight I mean if you know if I'm sat here at my desk I've still got plenty of space um, but when I'm gaming essentially the chair has to be pushed away um, or move up here out of the way but yes here we go the gaming table it is absolutely solid like that is going nowhere um, and I'm quite proud of it to be honest uh, you can see I've joined them all in the center of going through there there is 24 L-shaped metal brackets on it, and every join has two two and a half inch screws in it. Uh, so it's going nowhere. It's also fastened to the wall as well. 
um, I've left just enough gap down there to get the backdrop board down and uh, of course we've got the lip I built it higher this time um, so that the dice don't roll off as easy uh, and I put the side one on when I got the 6x4 board cut uh, I actually got uh, some of the remnants cut of 1x4 so I can slide it in there so that I'm then playing on the correct width for a 40k battlefield as it stands now uh, we use loft flooring to basically put the middle shelf in all the way along there that last one I still need to cut to fit in but that's where it is but yeah we're getting there so I'm going to get some sound deadening to go on that wall and uh, as I mentioned before I'm going to get something to go across the top of that wallpaper as well so you won't see any of that wallpaper when we're done uh, but yeah I I'm looking forward to starting to unpack some of them that's basically scenery that cupboard's full of scenery that cupboard's full of scenery I haven't got any models in this room yet uh, at all but I'm going to start unpacking some of this tomorrow get the painting side of things set back up get the boxes of some of the terrain under here because now that I've got the extra storage space thanks to these two cupboards um, I don't have to cram the table with as much stuff so yeah that is it is a lot more it is a lot tighter than what it was you're still going to have a decent amount of space here you can get all the way around but it's it's snug but i feel like it's more professional than what it was which i'm really happy about so i'm hoping that when we actually get the internet on thursday not tuesday as i thought we might be able to do a little virtual tour Still got to set all the cameras up. I haven't even had my computer on other than to make sure it was working. Um, so I'm going to play around with some stream layouts and overlays and stuff and see if we can get some stuff sorted out. But yeah, that is update number four. We're nearly there, folks. Hey guys, here we go. This is almost the last update. In fact, I think it probably will be the last update before you guys see everything. The table is built. It's solid. It's not going anywhere. Uh, there's still a couple of things in there and I've still got a lot of sea uh, scenery boxes to unbox but we are getting there sorry about that mark see it's there uh, I've got a lot of the big stuff out already there's obviously more to unpack uh, I think the blood angels are gonna have to go in there so we'll see uh, we've got a second PC set up uh, Lucy's essentially computer and that's the TV where my games consoles are going to be hooked up to uh, I've got my PC in this corner, we've got the lights up uh, I still need to extend the power cables on them but we're getting there, I've got the webcams to put in and that is almost it uh, obviously all my mats are actually sorted out and everything properly now but it's now a case of getting the armies out, getting the last of the models out and then we are a go, and I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, there's still a lot of stuff in here, in boxes and stuff, but as soon as I get a couple of more stack of boxes, that is going to be emptied. Uh, we're going to have stuff in there. I need to bring the backdrops in here as well, but it's nearly there. It's nearly there. So, we will be filming again very soon. Make sure that you are subscribed, guys, and... Um, Thank you to everybody that has been patient throughout this. It, it's not been easy. Uh, it's been very stressful. There's been blood. There's been sweat and tears. But we're almost there and we will see you very soon.